Hi, Kelly Snow here. Say, um, I just wanted to post a video on how to do these cute little envelopes. And um, so anyway, um, out of book pages. So I have a book page here. I'm deconstructing a book and um, making a junk journal. So anyway, you just um, fold the corners in and then fold this down, you know, like an envelope. And then you decide where you want your fluff to go. Um, I've been watching Patricia, you know, she's the one that taught me how to do all this stuff on YouTube. And um, I don't know where she gets all the ideas, or, unless they're her own. <laughs> but anyway, there's lots of videos out there on how to do this, but you can, you know, do it any, any way you like. Um, like Patricia says, I use two sheets of paper. I glue them together because I like to use them. And if you do single sheet, it's kind of flimsy. So, but for the video, I'm not. But, um, so you glue two sheets together. And then when they're all dry, then you can distress them. I bought some, um, distress ink. I like, um, mm, it's called antique linen. It's a really good color. And um, so you take it and you distress the edges all around, you know, and inside and everything. And then you mod podge. And you let them dry, sitting all around the house and everything, you know. And um, so then you let them all dry. And then you can refold it back up again. And then um, I also take the half a sheet and I fold it in half and then I cut right here to make the insert for the envelope. See, it goes in here like this. See? And then it gives you a tuck spot right here. See? Of course, you trim it all up, you know, but... Anyway, and then this gives you the pocket right there. So, after everything's all distressed and everything's all glued, then you can take this and put some glue down here and take your insert and glue that down. And then you can flip this over and glue here, glue here, set, set that down. And then um, don't put any glue right here because you want to be able to close your flap inside there. I mean, if you want to, sometimes you don't have to, but you got to leave, you know, no glue in between here. And then we um, get to do the decorating, which I like. And um, I went to Michael's, you know, and they had a bunch of, a whole bunch of these different kind of neutrals, which I like. And so I have an envelope here that I started here and I put this term on just I was gonna finish up here while I was talking with you guys and um, so I kind of want it to match the other one I'm um, I'm gonna use the same style of trim just a different color and then I've made another button here and I looped some I have this it's pale pink you can't really the lighting's kind of bad but this is very pale pink and um, there's a little bit of pink in here, just very pale in the beading. So I made um, another button for this one. So that's going to be the same. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I've got some little banners here that I've made. And for this one, um, again, just two pieces of paper glued together and Mod Podge over the top of it. Otherwise, I have this one. That would be cute, too. I don't usually do a bunch of color, but I don't know. It's kind of cute. So we'll see anyway. Um, so then you just, whoops, way too much glue, but you know, sometimes that happens. If you got time, you can spread it out a little. Otherwise, you just got to deal with it. So I'll just glue all this stuff on and then um, glue my button on. And um, then you're done and then you have this and it's just so cute. Thanks for watching.